The matric dance is an event we look forward to from the moment we start high school. It's a rite of passage that marks the end of our school days and most importantly, it's our moment to shine. Over the course of the series, we follow 13 very different but equally remarkable young South Africans as they prepare for the night of their lives. Namsanje kumaina iti tibana nuka shifa o indo mbazana ezi ndwebeleyo Ufunda e Vista High ese poka up Utanda ujala e rugby kwa ye uyazi krenya nge slalo saki kwi team ye skolo My name is Kashfa Oliver I'm in grade 12 and I attend Vista High School The most exciting thing that at the Madrid dance is that Being with my friends and making that one night special for us and Getting to know all my friends really who they are without school clothes and gala dresses and all dressed up and everything. We met Kashiba in grade 10. We were the rowdiest class in the school and we just had fun. Well, the most interesting thing that like, we as Matrix did like, as a class, we were dancing one day. Just all of a sudden we were dancing and taking videos. My favourite subject is history and business. I like history because it talks about apartheid and what South Africa was like in the past years. Now it's just the big year, everything has been planned out, the matric dance, so everyone is excited about it. Yeah. Like Kajiba, what are you going to wear? You always don't want to know. It's too much. <laughs> what are you asking if you didn't want to know? Or is it a surprise? It's a, colors, it's a surprise, so... you can just see. But my partner is hot, I must <laughs> Don't talk about Awe. <laughs> no, he's not my boyfriend, he's just my friend. He's Don't lie, golly. Oh. This is one time in the life of a matriculant where everybody can celebrate together. The majority of them place such a high premium on the matric ball. This is what we've worked for and this is what we are being rewarded with. That day is set apart and especially because our children come from the townships, the community will be celebrating with that family. It is such a fabulous occasion. From the school side, we want to make this a spectacular event for these children. At Vista High, we're putting out all stops. Kashifa, basically, she's an outspoken person. I mean, we're not from the same race or from the same culture, but we get along so well together. And every time when they have Ramadan and stuff like that, she brings us nice samosas and stuff like that. Yeah, she's a great person. I'll describe her as a very loud, outspoken, very loud. and a very happy person, like to be around and to just have fun with. One of my favorite teachers is Ms. Richard, that's now Mrs. Sister Silva. The reason why I like her, um, I can go to her with my problems, I can speak to her, she's always up for a listen. Kashifa has been in my class since grade 8, right up to grade 12. If I need to describe her as a person, she is strong-willed. She's bubbly, she likes to talk, and I always have to reprimand her in class to keep quiet. She is a person for friends and they would always try to help one another in class. What I think my teachers think of me, especially my sister Silva, um, I think that she think I'm very cheeky and I don't listen much to her, but I do listen, I do take her advice. But I'm always not, I, I don't like listen to her, to the teachers, I like to do my own thing. I didn't understand her at the beginning. We used to fight a lot because Kashifa was not listening to me and I did not understand why. I could see that this girl has a lot of potential, but I couldn't get through to her. So what I had to do, I had to dig a little deeper. And then I discovered the real or the true gem that she is. And that is when we connected and when we started working well together. My exam so far, it's going great. Like, but it's hard actually, really, but it's getting me. The worst part of being in Madrid is that I always have to study. I'm almost always my time for, for my books and school and sitting with books, but that's not me. Concentrating and sitting with books is not who I am, really. All she needs is that extra motivation, and that is what I'm trying to give her at this point in time. 
The other teacher that I most admire is Mr. Longley, because he gives me advice. It's enjoyable to have Kashifa uh, in an English class because sometimes learners are not very interested in Shakespeare, but Kashifa always has something to say about everything. And she can never be absent because her absence will be missed immediately. She's very assertive at times, but I understand that. I understand the need to be strong. Looking at what she had to face growing up and the fact that she made it up until grade 12 tells me that she can do anything she wants now. I think when it comes to Mr. Long and Mr. Long, he thinks I'm a very hard, dedicated person and I like working and things like that. You don't see bad of me, that's all I know. What goes through my mind when I think about next year is what what, what am I going to do? Because studying is, is not an option. It is an option for me, but for me, like, there's no breadwinner in my house, so I can't really afford to go study, so that's why. I do want to go work, but it depends on, 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 on what comes. For me, it's just, I just want to let everything fall into place. That's how I see myself. Things just fall into place. This is my second year arranging the matric dance and for some of these kids this is the first in their families to have achieved a grade 12 and now we want to make it extra special for the family. No. Sorry. Sorry. What would you, what would you choose? I don't know. I haven't decided. Lobby. 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 Shifa, since she's the dramatic person and a very outspoken person, I think she's going to be wearing a red colour, like a dark red colour. That's going to represent her personality along glamorous shoes just because of the person she is. I think she's going to be beautiful, you know, oh, yeah. slaying it. I want to open back and you must now have an African bum. Hi! Seeing will be 18th century glitz and glamour and I know how competitive young people are how the cameras will be flashing that night, and how that will be the memory. This year's Matric Farewell, we have provisionally secured the Taj in Cape Town. I think it will be a fantastic gesture if we could assist her in any way to make this night really special because ultimately it's about how she looks at the night and how she feels. How I imagine it to be is like a red carpet and the cameras is waiting there for us. And this, the teachers is walking down and as I come in with, the, with my partner and my friends are coming in with their partners to the place where the matric board is like set out to be. And the tables is more like designed and everything and everything is just great and perfect for one night. Three weeks ago till the dance. I'm so excited. I'm going for my first footing with G12. Two weeks ago, I'm a bit nervous for wearing high heels. I'm used to wearing rugby boots, so ooh. Ukashifa uhlala no sapolo wakhe Pelican Park kodwa uthanda ya kwasiswa wakhe eBoy Cup emva kwesikolo azokwazi ukufundela ya exams ezisondeleyo Describe Kashifa, I won't say a tomboy, but even a dress code uh, stems more to the side of the boys than the girls. She's not like the ordinary girl that would wear a dress and a pair of pumps on a casual day. She would normally wear the jeans and the tackies or tracksuit pants and the tackies on those days that we have here at school. What I'm really going to miss is the touch rugby because that's the only reason why I really like being in school, coming to school on a Friday and go playing that, that's the only reason. And hanging out with friends. I think the rugby does take my mind off some of my problems I have, like with my mother being sick and all that. And I think that it takes a relief away from me having stress and stressing about school. And Because when I'm on the rugby field, it's just happy vibes, it's just chill vibes. The reason why I really started playing rugby is when I was like on primary school, like girls used to bully me, they used to like disgrade me and like and tell me you like not worth something. And then when I started coming to high school, I, I got into playing rugby and I felt good at it and it gave me confidence about myself and that I stand up for myself and that's why I am. When we play rugby, she loves screaming if we don't do something right. She like arguing, going on, because she wants our team to be the best team as professionals. The boys think it's a good thing 
for the girls to play rugby. Sometimes they are surprised because they think rugby is all about hurting each other, which is not true. She really does admire sport and she likes being around boys. Yeah, yeah, one thing. Yeah, we, one we, thing. We, we, Fine here around we boys. Kind of confused about Most of the she time. likes hanging out with boys. It's just a sporty personality. Like she likes hanging out with boys and playing rugby. Because we once asked the chomi, "Are oh, you sure you're a girly girl?" She was like, "Nah." Like, you know, she, like, I must tell you about my date. Oh, my date is to die for. Like, just alone. The only reason why I really want to take him was for his arms and his legs. It's too much to handle for a girl. Ah. The matric dance is going to be one of these events in, in, in Kashiva's life. She's looking forward to it. When we mentioned the word matric dance, and she made us promise that it must be special. I think she needs that. She needs that affirmation. She needs to show the world that this is me and I've made it so far. After school, I came here to my sister's mother-in-law's house in Puka. And then I just sit there, I study, go through my things and I love it here because my sister's mother-in-law is like, she's, she's welcoming and like, she's always open. Like, she likes to open the door for the next person. The dance is in the month's time and I haven't prepared or I haven't designed a dress or got really anyway on making plans for the matric dance because I have been busy with studying and like exams and it keeps me, keeps me away from deciding anything. The dress I would like, I have a picture on my phone. There's a heart at the back and then it's like just lace on top. The train is not too long, so it's straight cut and then round at the back. What is it gonna be like? Is it gonna be like an Oscar evening or things like that? Or is it just gonna be one normal night where everyone, like all my tricks get together? I like to be the spotlight and I think this dress is gonna make me stand out of all, out of all the other matriculants at the dance. I'm feeling very nervous because there's only a few weeks to go. I'm happy in a way that it's near time and I'm also not happy because of the dress and the stress and the partner that's full of nonsense and things like that. I live with my mom in the RDP house in Pelican Park with my once my sister, my baby sister and my older sister and her son. Our house isn't so big but it's enough for family to live in. The relationship I would describe with my with my mother is like very open. Sometimes I'm not honest. And like my relationship with her is good because I have a more closer bond than what I had before that I have now. I think that like she's the true role model in my life because she showed me ways in what to take because of the area I came from and the people that was uh, I was surrounded by. It's, it doesn't depend, it doesn't define who you are and you can, can become someone in life. She always used to advise me like, make the right decisions and do the right things because it's going to depend on who you are in the future and all of that. And that's why I'm metric today. One week to go, I'm a bit nervous because I don't have my handbag or any accessories yet, so, ooh. It's the big day today. But first up I'm going to is milk and honey for my nails. Welcome Kashifa. So we're going to start with your nails. You can choose your colour that you'd like that will match with your dress. My dress is like a bright um, red, so I wanted red nails, everything, and with a go maybe one or two um, with gold in the middle. Yeah. So we'll be doing all of it red and, and then one finger gold. Yes. Okay, sure, perfect. Kashifa, it is your night. And G12 Runway is a design initiative and what we do is we encourage young designers to design a fabulous metric dance dress. And it's twofold this competition because while the designers are designing and being creative and we at G12 Runway are giving them a platform to show off their creativity, on the other side we encourage metric girls to motivate as to why they deserve a designer metric dance dress. They need to motivate to us, you know, what it is that they are doing, who they are, how well they are doing at school. Look, we're not looking for straight A's because not every Everybody can be a straight A, but we're looking for those young girls who do have a vision for their lives, who are busy doing things at school, who are, you know, in touch with their families and just looking at doing great things. Of course, I will buy it and 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 I will bu
ועל עמו, על הסוסר, עמו חתר אותו, ואתה תשופי חל, אתה נקרא פייטר צ'ופה. The reason why we chose Kashifa is because she's absolutely gorgeous and she's quite a dynamic young South African woman and she's got a lot going for her. She is a young girl showing us that young girls don't always have to be doing the same thing. She plays touch rugby. Pankarin sa maskas wa uwa sports and toto tiir. Maskas wa bayil ni fan, ek po touch rugby and ek po proud ha fan. Kashifa has actually grown up with her grandma who she sees as her mother and some of us have been there. I've spent time with my grandmother and there are lots of, you know, family that are like that way, we have our grandmothers raising us. Each year 12, no I and as let you say, okay, she found a local entry in makeup. When the in well, when you're in the songs of Nabango Sukulaki or Luku. The experience for my nails was a great experience because I never really experienced things like that, like putting in fake nails and being more curly. And then the hair makes me feel even more curly. The thing I'm most excited about is getting to the dance and giving my speech on behalf of all the learners at our school. Close for me, just relax. Okay, no, don't You mean you're dance? It's 12 ilung selele ukashifa is surprise as the manga lisai. Londo, it le mini is a pity zen. Out! It's suffer for beauty when you want to be a girl. <laughs> this is 10 times worse than playing rugby. I never ever want to experience again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> what I did with Kashin I just blow dry and then I just start to try to curl it up and I pin it up with a commissary bud. Yes, I think everyone is going to be shocked because I'm not the type of girl that wears nails, makeup, hair, all like this all dressed up. I think they will be surprised to see me like that because all of them thought I was not even going to bother coming but at the end it's my life and I'm going to make it. For Kashifa's dance, because her dress is red, we decided to go for a red lipstick. Very elegant, classy and then a very smoky eye using lots of brown eyeshadows, a little bit of glitter as well just to spice it up for the evening and then she's got very beautiful lashes as well so we want to focus on her eyes because she's got such beautiful eyes as well. Okay, so everything is done. Now it's just time to get home and finish off the last touches. Now that I'm home, I'm feeling nervous because it's near to, to the time of the dance. And I'm also a little bit relieved because nothing actually went wrong. Everything went according to how we planned it. I tried my best to make it to my trick and finally I made it even though I had a lot of struggles, ups and downs as we were coming along the way. For me, it's such a different experience having nails, makeup and hair up and all dressy and curly because I'm used to playing rugby, sneakers, well, boots, that's my style, shorts. So it's very, for me, it's a different feeling and I feel nice because I'm a girl for once, I can say I'm a lady. Wow, she was really pretty and she looked like Kim Kardashian, I must tell you that. Wow, it was really very nice. When Kasuka came out by the door, I was stunned. She looked so awesome, beautiful. Ooh, what a fun. When she came out here, yeah, something in me did go like bang! Wow, look how look my daughter. The first time after how many years, and the first child from me that goes so far and looks so pretty. Haar is baie mooi, is prachtig en ek wil ek die saai wat haar is en die make-up is net so mooi. Het lik haar gezicht heel rond en vol en haar rok, oh, don't even mention that. Is prachtig, but I appreciate everything you've done for them. Sukran and thank you very much. Wow, Uchigawa in Kosa Zanum Zaliwe to a rag. Akasem Se 
kids evening will be a beautiful evening for our kids they are already turning up here and they are excited we moved the venue last minute to this place we couldn't afford to host this beautiful event at the Taj Hotel the Lord Charles were willing to accommodate us so I believe that tonight will be a nice nice evening where they will enjoy themselves and just relax G12 is Sebenzil. All the losers are going to be so good. I'm going to be so good. She's a bit of a tomboy at school. And she's always with the boys and the rugby boys. She, she really, it was very, very nice to, to see her in that way. I was very surprised. Like, uh, she's not the kind of girl that wears those kind of dresses. And when she came in, I was. Totally surprised. I was shocked. It was a shock. But she's beautiful. She's stunning. I was actually astounded by, by, by the way she looked. She looked like a little princess to me. Um, I've seen her over the years, but tonight she really, she really bloomed, and I was so proud of her. I was really, really proud of her. That she looked so good on this big night. When I saw Kashifa in high health, I thought that she was going to fall because she's using techies and all this. She's not using wearing high health and all this stuff. So she was very surprising. I don't really think Kashifa would last all night on the hills. Don't tell us it. <laughs> you made someone very, very happy tonight. And like I said, this is a life-changing experience. So you'll never get an experience like this again. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say I'm very grateful and thankful for all the teachers that made it possible for us to be here tonight. And also to Ms. Richard for making it possible and believing in us that, um, to say that she wants us to have a matri ball tonight because otherwise we weren't going to have one. Oh, my date was actually very late. I was so disappointed, I thought he's not coming because he didn't even pick up his phone. But then when I wanted to go lay in bed because I thought he's not going to pitch up. And so he, they say he's, out, he was, he's outside, he's waiting for me. And then I was all happy and excited to come. What made the Matri dance so special is when everyone started dancing and all the, um, the children pulled up the teachers and the principal to come dance, but it made it more fun. I love the music because it's music I can relate to, like African music and colored music together. Being a girly girl, it's like painful. Because with other aisles, it eats your feet. The hair gives you a pain because of all the pins and all a lot of things and the makeup sitting for hours. This um, smiling different kind of ways so the makeup can go in your face. It's just too much for really for girls to handle. I don't know how girls does it nowadays. And also I don't like to speak a lot because I'm very nervous standing here also. So I just like to say I'm very grateful to everyone and for everyone making it possible and DJ please play some music that we can dance away. Thank you.